So now let's get started with creating node server. And to do so, I'm going to use the most popular library that is Express.js. Before we move forward, let me give you a quick introduction on Express.js. Node also has a vanilla HTTP module which can be used to create a server or routes, but it has a very complicated process. Express.js simplifies the process by providing effective route creations and also allows us to set up a custom middleware. We will learn all these fancy terms like routes, middleware, etc. as we proceed further in this section. Let's start creating the server using Express.js step by step. Creating a new folder and let me name it as node dash server. Let me also add this folder to workspace. And let me also open the terminal window and navigate to the path. Or I can simply click here to add a new command in the terminal and it will ask me for which folder I want to open the terminal. So I will click here on the node server folder and it will directly navigate me to that folder. Let's create the project using npm init. So here I will say npm init hyphen y hyphen y to accept all default values which we have already seen in our previous lectures. Enter and now we have a package.json file created in this folder. Now the next step is to install the Express.js library. So I will write npm i express. Because we have not mentioned any version here, by default it will install the latest version. Let's also check the installed version in the package.json. After the npm i command, node underscore modules folder will be created which contains all the dependencies needed to run the application. Here is the express folder. Along with these, package-log.json file is also created which contains all the actual dependencies installed in the application with the exact versions. So this shows that Express is installed successfully. Now the next step is to write the code that is write the script which starts the web server. I will create a new file index.js in the root of this directory. Now to use the express library, we first need to load the library. Let's create one variable here, const express equals to require into the brackets express. And this will expose the express function in this variable which actually becomes an object. Now let me create one variable here, const app equals to express function. So now this app is going to expose all the methods of express which we will be using to create a server. So app becomes an object through which we are going to access all the methods or facilities of express. Now let's create the server. I'll say app dot listen parentheses and here inside I will provide a port on which the server will interact. Say we keep it 5000 and optionally let me add a callback function here and write console log. I'll say node server started on port 5000. At the moment the port that is 5000 is fixed but this will be read from the node environment as we proceed further. It means it is not going to be a fixed value. So once we start the server, it is going to run forever unless we stop it. Let's start the server. I'll say node space index.js and now the server started on port 5000. Let me open the browser and write localhost colon 5000 that is the port and you can see that it says cannot get slash 
and that's because we have not yet written any routes in it. So what are the routes? Basically routes are the endpoints. Routes are the one that are responsible to handle user navigation to various URLs and HTTP request methods and also facilitates data from the server to the web browser. Like if I navigate to somewebsite.com, it will return me some result. And if I navigate to somewebsite.com slash about, it will display some other information. So this about you can say is an endpoint. Somewebsite.com can also be an endpoint for the root route. So let's create one route. The basic definition of route is route.method into the brackets. We define the endpoint and the second option is handler. Route is your express function. Method can be get, post, put, delete, patch or can be something else as well. And handlers are callback functions or middlewares. Remember, one route can have more than one handlers. So here we create a get request. This is the most common and widely used method in API. So in simple terms, get method is used to retrieve data from the server or serve any static files. So I will write here app.get and parentheses and inside these parentheses, I will give the name of the endpoint which has to be a string. I'll write here slash between the quotes. Slash means the root path. That is if I hit localhost 5000, this method will be called or executed. Now I will add a handler or callback function which takes two parameters, request and response. So I will write here req that is short name for request and res that is short name for response though you can name whatever you want to but i am keeping it req res as this is a very common practice and then the arrow function and at last i'll say response dot send that is res dot send in this send function we can pass anything that can be a string an object or HTML text. Let's say here res.send, I'll keep a message, welcome to Express.js server. So when we call this route, this value will be sent to the browser. I'll save this file and restart the server once again for the changes to take effect. To restart, first we have to stop the server using control C and then again I'll run node index.js. Alternatively, you can press up arrow to show up the last executed command. Now once again, hit this URL and here is the result. Now let us create one more route. I'll say app.get parentheses slash about comma and the callback request response arrow function and response.send. And let me write h1 tag you have navigated to about i'll close the h1 tag here we are sending an html let's save this and check the result if i refresh this it will show me the same result that is the root now let's hit slash about here we can see that the result is shown in bold because we have returned the response in h1 tag. That is now the response is not just a simple text. It is the HTML which is getting returned. This is how you can create your own Express.js server. We will deal with routes in a broader context as we proceed in our next lectures. This lecture is just about understanding the basic syntax, how the Express.js and the few methods work and how we can import the Express library. Now let's talk about an assignment here. For the assignment, I want you to create a route for the home section which should return 
the steps to create Express.js application as an array of objects. App.get slash home comma request response and arrow function. Now I will create an array of object for the steps to create Express.js server. I'll say const result equals object step colon one comma action npm init another object step two action install express and step three action load express etc and now we will pass this array in response.send function i'll say res.send result let's restart the server and check the result and there you see all the details are displayed 